Hello everybody, welcome to the Champions Cup uh, playoffs, no Champions Cup, it's just the Champions Cup preview with myself, Jimmy Fantastic and the Artemis Black. Hello boyo. <laughs> Brilliant, he's Welsh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> and the draw is up and uh, in the first round we have Mistake Not versus Stop the Invasion. Um, no idea who they are. <laughs> <laughs> Stop the invasion is uh, Dion Lords undead. Right. On oh, mistake not is Elliot's halflings. On mistake not is the halflings. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, Elliot's halflings. He's got a, you know, it's 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 a fine team. It's not many halflings. It's not much TV. It's got an incredible record of nine wins, zero draws, zero losses. Um, He's got okay. some sidestep. I mean, you would like an, an edge guy. Like a, what you'd want is like a double move edge, double edge guy, wouldn't you? Is like sprint your feet. That'd be the perfect halfling. You'd want that perfect halfling, and that's the perfect team. So you've got a yeah. better one turn. And the thing is, when you do this rec kind of record, though, like the the you know, the six zero, the seven zero, the eight zero, and this one's gone even further for nine zero. You just don't get a team. You just yeah. qualify, but you with nothing. But you're not going to get a team. You're never going to get a team. All oh, you no, you, you, you missed it. Sky from. Blue Monty played like 40 games with Halflings and an amazing team. He did. He did, but that's not that's not that good for Halflings, really. I think just a rookie team with a, with a legend to be thrown would be the ultimate Halfling team, to be honest. I, I, would, I, would, I would probably back Sky Blue Monty's 1,400 flings versus this undead team more than I back this team. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> fair enough. So he's gonna get about he's gonna get about seven hundred inducements, isn't he? Six eighty inducements, I think. Something like uh, he's eight ten, but he's got three skills to take. So if you assume they're normal, he's eight seventy. Right. So six seventy. And, um, and he's fifteen forty. Yeah. So six seventy in inducements. So we could see Morg or uh, Deep Root. Yeah, I think Deep Root and a Chef. And then, like, maybe Zara or something. Zara against Undead, isn't it, eh? <laughs> you stay. I don't know the, uh, I don't know the ske uh, schedule works. I think because Mistake Not the first, that, that means Elyon's actually at the top of the bracket. So he will always be home. Oh, yes. Does he have, does he have a, does he have a stadium? I don't know. I was already gone on the Dion Lord. Club. Uh, he does have Nuffles Alter. Oh my god, so yeah, he'll definitely get... He, he might have, he'll definitely have two stars, won't he, for sure. So, uh, yeah, gives him an extra chance. But <laughs> Dion Lord does have, basically, a, a halfling killing white. Um, <laughs> like a jump-up tackle palm white. Yes. Yeah, he has the <laughs> ultimate... He, that, is, that is rather unjust for Elyod in... <laughs> <laughs> and that Stefan is going to ruin Arvings. But again, if he ever piles on, he gets he gets the boots stuck in, doesn't he? So Look at that zombie as well. What a lucker pick for that zombie. <laughs> yeah. Just randomly give him tackle. Yeah, I mean, they can't get much else, can they? But it, yeah, he's lucky that he's got him. Yeah, and he's got a dirty pair of his own. But, you know, he's, he's got this ultimate mummy, but Khufu the Great is just going to get dominated by Deep Root. Yeah. And then, so you're a strength up mummy and it's not even the strongest guy on the pitch <laughs> yeah 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 I, I think it probably is going to go Zara I mean, he might go Zara and Deep Root he could go Zara and Mob but I think he'll go Zara and Deep Zara and Deep Root and uh, and stuff like that I don't know because Deep Root's slow but then he's up against mummies so yeah three trees yeah. outrank two mummies and uh, Zara's strength four, so the white on its own can't do a lot. It would need backup. And so... you would actually get the use stakes. But you know, he might he might do something completely different. He could go bribes and stuff, couldn't he? He's definitely going to get the chef. And he's, you know, there's only three ro three re rolls for Dion Lord, so he could he could be on zero re rolls, couldn't he? <laughs> yep. I just want to see Zara kill a ghoul w with a stab. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. So I hope he goes deep root Zara. Yeah. Chef. Yeah, exactly. As the rest of development says, carry with Zara. Yeah, because she's really, she's she's really good. So that that's an yeah, interesting so on, first match. That on, could... a, on a halfling team, strength four blodge carry is pretty good. Yeah, I mean, and faster. <laughs> There's no better way to say pretty good. Really, it's fucking amazing. Yep. 
So uh, that that's a winnable match for Elliot in the first round. Um, oh wow, and what a lucky draw by the looks of it for uh, Andy Devo here. <laughs> <laughs> what a surprise! <laughs> <laughs> Not even that, but if Elliot wins, he gets fucking halflings next. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dream draw for Devo so far. So, so he his might opponent finally get through like the first round. Yeah, his first He's round got opponent. Shit, pro elves like really half dead shit pro elves. Yeah, these are these are terrible. There's nothing good about them. He's got blood step, diamond <laughs> tackle, and and a guard dodge. He's not even you know. Hardly any bludge, hardly any dodge. There's nothing to them. This um, really is nothing. Is it's just this guy obviously didn't understand who Crucifer was, <laughs> so just stopped playing. Like, oh, I can't beat that pro elf record. I'm done. Yeah, that is not realizing thing. that Crucifer was never taking top pro elves in yeah. a million fucking years. Yeah, that is a nothing team. And then Devo, he got a great record, but his team is his team is not that good. But it's well enough to beat that 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 uh, elf team. You know, he, he's got the better team in this matchup, and we'll have the better team in his second round as well. <laughs> yeah, so, so he, he, Devo could get pro elves, half a pro elf team, followed yeah. by whatever's left of Hel- Elliot's halfling team. Yeah, or whatever's left of the undead as well. The undead aren't <laughs> going to like fighting three trees and everything. So you have to deep root Kaz's the fuck out of them. Yeah, whoever wins the other match um, is, are going to be at the mercy of this claw palming every turn. And a tackle mighty blow is is very good against the halflings as well and and the pro elves, so yeah, I I I'm definitely backing Devo to win his first two games for sure. However, <laughs> if he doesn't, how hilarious would that be? Yeah, yeah, yeah. True, <laughs> true. But uh, out of this first, four, I like to like group them into the groups of four. So out of those first four, I'm definitely backing Krampus, my style, coached by Devo. Yeah. Do you agree? I do, yeah. You got to, you got, you've got to. Like as much as it'd be funny to watch him be crushed by half a pro elf team or like halflings, yeah. it's just, it's unlikely. It is unlikely. I mean, obviously, anything can happen in a game. Um, you know, and the, and the the halflings that have a lot of strength on the pitch and the chefs and I don't see. I mean, but then you know, even the elves, even though the elves have nothing about them, with a wizard and if the dice aren't good, anything can happen, can't it? Right, Krusk Kill Destroy versus Dippin' Dodgin' Elves. I think that's Augurs versus Dark Elves, so... Oh. I think Krusk Kill Destroy is Ed Havoc's Oh, yeah. Augurs? Krusk Kill... Oh. It is, yeah. Poor, poor... This, this season, the Augurs was one of the most contested races. <laughs> yeah. Bizarrely, Ed Havoc and Anraka played so many games because they had to go back and forth <laughs> trying to beat each other. And there's no wildcard possibility for Ogres, no. is there? So... so they just fought back and forth. And I'm so sad to see Anraka miss out because he had an Adj 5 Nobler. <laughs> wow. And he took pass on an Ogre. <laughs> 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 I just wanted to see that in the playoff. Wow. Well, this looks... I mean, it's hard for an Ogre team to look good, but this looks, you know, not... It's not... He's, he's got a he's got a sneaky get. That's probably sneaky get. I've never seen the icon before. Yeah. Sneaky get dirty player. Um, yeah. And he's got some Ogres, but oh, it's... Oh, someone's followed me. Sorry, my... Uh, I should probably turn them off. <laughs> Holy shit. It's Singolo. Singolo's just followed me. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> yeah, so he's probably got close to zero chance versus Dark Elves. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean it's it's terrible, isn't it? We get elves as augurs, yeah, because because of the the titchy rule, they just literally just run through half your team. Yep, and he's got two tacklers. He's got a mighty blow tackle. He's got loads of dodge, loads of bludge. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, that's not the six bludge and four more. Well, three or four more dodge. McMackey, yeah. Some guard, some edge, some strength, some movement. Very very nice little team that. Um, so yeah, I reckon. <laughs> even if he, even if, even if, even if, snotlings, sorry, no noblars. In noblars. this game, the noblars. Even if noblars had no, tackling. right. Though. Hang on. Before we move on, I want to make a point. Noblars and snotlings are both in the Warhammer world. They're different things. They yes. genuinely haven't just renamed. They used to have snotlings on the team. <laughs> And then they put Noblars on the team. They haven't renamed Snotlins. 
Yeah, they have. They, they have. They haven't. Well, they, they, they both, haven't. They, they have haven't. They have a world. They have renamed Snob. They, 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 they cyanide of yeah. I mean, okay, they, the models are Noblars, but the the um they actually runs they're actually runs now in Blood Bowl twenty sixteen, which is Snotlings in forty k. But right. But they've they've re skipped like you know in the same way as they've just renamed Slan to Kislev. They have given them different models, but they've just renamed Slan Kislev, haven't they? And they've renamed. But no, Noblars, Noblars are in the Ogre world in Warhammer before yeah. Blood Bowl. Before Blood Bowl did this, like Noblars were a thing yeah, in Ogre kingdoms. Yeah, I know. I don't know what your point is. Because <laughs> people keep saying Snotlings, like like they just give them a different name. They actually just replace. They they really just they're different things. They give them. Gave them Noblars instead of Snotlings. But they are Snotlings. Snotlings. They're not. But in in Living Rulebook Five, they're Snotlings. It's a cyanide thing, you know. It's a, it's not a Games Workshop thing at all. Well, no, they give them the Noblars to bring it more up to date with the proper ogre stuff in Warhammer World. Yeah, but it's the same stat line, you know. That so pe- you, you you people are saying Snotlings because it's the world's nerdiest argument. Yeah, but I, I don't know what the argument is because I, I don't know what you think people thought. That's what I don't understand. People are calling them snotlings because they're snotlings in Living Room Book 5. Um, so, you know, you're used to them being snotlings. They've been snotlings f- for, like, for the duration of Living Room Book 5. And now Cyanide reskinned them as Noblars. So you just forget that they've reskinned them as Noblars because they've got the same stat line. If they've given them a, same, a different stat line, I'd call them Noblars, but it's just so easy to call them snotlings. Nobody cares. Good point. <laughs> Three edge five anyway. So even even if Snotlings or Noblars had tackle zones, they'd still dodge them through them like they weren't there. Sorry about that. I would edit it out if um. Even if even I stopped caring halfway through that discussion. It's fine. I just didn't understand it. Right, lizard men. Ladies love lizard men. Coached by Ruttery, eighteen eighty lizards. Um, yeah, it's like oh. calling because of slang exactly. Right. He's got oh yeah, this is the aggressive, aggressive lizard man team, isn't it? Yes. Aggressive <laughs> lizard men. Loads of mighty blow. Well, it's not even loads actually. It's like two. It's more than they normally have. Let's go with that. Yeah, it's it's probably more break tackle, I guess is the thing. Because if they if they weren't break tackle, they'd be guard and then it would look more like a normal team. So he's it's break tackle heavy and it's tackle heavy. And it's not actually that might mighty blow heavy. And he's got an agile skink and a movement skink. And his record, one twenty-two wins, five losses, is is not bad, is it? Doesn't? No, it was fine. I mean, uh, lizards were pretty weak last season. Uh, yeah. So were dark elves actually. For some reason, the last two seasons of dark elves that we just saw McMackey, there was only one person really who had a chance at qualifying both seasons. Yeah. Uh, lizards was pretty weak, and this guy saw a weakness and played it up. Hmm. But he is up against hippies. Yeah. Hippie's three strength up Nurgle team. <laughs> um, yeah, he's in a bit of trouble. Yeah, he's got two tentacles to deal with Skinks a little bit. And he's got Claw Palm and Claw Mighty Blow to Injusaurus. And yeah, I think um I think that's a good a good matchup for Hippie there. I think um I Yeah, think he, he won't mind that, will he? he I mean the Claw teams don't mind getting the lizards because you yeah. just remove the crocs or some like two saurus and the lizard team is suddenly a whole pile of shit yeah and even if he doesn't i mean the, the other thing is sometimes you hit them and you don't remove them but um glorious oh like a professional jim turning his sounds off hey, jimmy jim <laughs> I, I did not turn my sounds off but thank you for um, for staying fantastic for 21 months. Right, sorry about that. <laughs> but thank you. Um, the, the normal thing is when you're playing against lizards, you're like, you hope to remove, and if you don't, you're in trouble because they outstrength you. But he outstrength the lizards. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> so, <laughs> so yeah, I mean, that's just insane. He, out, he literally outstrengths lizard men, like on the Saurus front. Uh, you know, I guess most people, it's a wash between, because they, they, they're stronger than the skinks, but he's... All of his skinks are stronger, and all of his he, he outstrengths the Saurus by one as well. So yeah, I think that's yes. a really horrible. But, uh, he's two. He, well, he's not really two thousand k, two k, because he's got an extra forty. So he's nineteen sixty, and yeah. the lizards are eighteen eighty. 
So that means they can't even get, like, Slibly. Oh, God. They, they literally only get 80k plus their 40k back. So they only get 120k. <laughs> yeah, so that's that's looking bad. I think that's bad time for LL Liz. So I think Hippie will win that. Um, so, yeah, if you're out there, Rootery, congratulations on making the playoffs. Yes. Better luck next time. Yeah, and you know, I, I don't know. You know, this is the thing as well. You, you tend to be a little bit, bad. well, I say you. I tend to be a little biased uh, because obviously I know Hippie's good and a lot of the coaches I don't know. Like I know Elliot's a good a good coach and I know that Andy Davo's good and I don't know the, the Elf coach and I don't know the uh, uh, Undead coach. So, you know, I am going to be a little bit biased, but I try to go off the teams as much as possible and then so then there's less bias, isn't there? So, but I think Hippie's, Hippie's I mean, that Nurgle team is going to smash that Lizardman team all over by the looks of it. <laughs> so I'd, I'd fancy Hippie to win that one. I would fancy the Dark Elves, obviously, to beat Ogres, regardless of teams or coaching. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and he don't, he didn't even need to look at that one. Um, and that's a that's a good Dark Elf team, though. They, they, could, they could beat Hippie's uh, Nurgles, to be honest. You know? Well, elves can always win. I mean, it's whether or not they've got players for the next game, but you could certainly beat Hippie. Yeah. But... Uh, whether, whether he beats whoever he's the next with his three elves. Yeah. Is uh, <laughs> is is the main thing. Yeah. So I, I reckon. I, I reckon. I'm, my tip is Hippie to come out of that bracket of four. Um, but you know, you don't know, do you? Do, do you agree, or are you going to back the dark elves? No, I'll give it to Hippie. Okay. Uh, I, I think it's, it'll be the second match. I think it'll definitely be Hippie versus the Delves, yeah. and I think it'll be closer than we think. Yeah. But yeah. I, I think, yeah, I think Hippie will just cas him too much. Yeah, I think I think it's natural when, when one team's like a lot bashier than the other and like more TV and everything, it's natural to, to kind of back them. But obviously, yeah, the Elves with a Wizard, anything can happen. Um, right, up next we've got... Well, elves won't have a wizard. The dark elves, if they go through, will actually have a higher TV. Than oh, wow, yeah. yeah. But they could have a wizard because you don't know what the ogres are going to do with them. Yeah. <laughs> and you don't know what the... yeah, they, they might be five elves with a wizard. Yeah, they could be. Uh, but even then, even without the wizard, they've got edge five, haven't they? Anyway, right. A, a name that I can't say versus... A, a... That's uh, Andre's Norse. Right. Versus a team that I can't talk about. <laughs> yeah. Versus Cheaty McCheaterson's Zons. <laughs> right. So... <laughs> this is brilliant. <laughs> Andre, Andre's Spanish, isn't he? He, he, he won the he Blood is, Bowl yeah, One World Cup, I believe. Is he? Uh, he streams in Spanish as well, and but can speak English. So, ah, right. Um, if you've seen the fast show, I was going to do the fast show. Uh, weather, weather, weather. People, not not the weather people. No, that's Scorcho. I was going to do the fast show, um, Spanish, but then I thought I might be. Might be called racist if I do that, so I won't do that. Um, <laughs> he's got a mighty blow yeti. He's got he's got nineteen ten Norse, which in itself is something, isn't it? Um, mighty blow. Uh, I have another me related anecdote. I movement busted that yeti two games before playoffs. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Yeah. He was second Norse. And uh, he was spinning to become first Norse, and he ran into me, and I fucked him up. He had to play two more games before he finished, and he, like I said, he squeezed one game in last second yeah. to pass top Norse. Wow. I, I don't know where his TV is. It's Norse. <laughs> it never, you can never see the TV in a Norse team. It, it's, it, it's hidden there somewhere. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, he's, he's got three tackle... And he's got four fre five frenzy. So, and he's got three mighty blows. So this might be a rough matchup for Sergal here, mightn't it? Um, yeah, the ta the fact that um, he's got three tackle is going to be the thing. Yeah, but frenzy itself is like a poor man's tackle, isn't it? Um, and also that tackle. If Space Cadet ever watches this, that tackle shadowing guy will actually be useful. Because <laughs> yeah. he's drawn Zons who are also movement six and dodgy. Yeah, true, true. Um, yeah, but I mean, they've all got they've all got ten fan factor, you know. So I, I just don't understand it. Um, there's no, there's never a good. You you just can't ever see the TV in a Norse team. They're worse than high elves. You just look at them. I'm like, how the fuck are they nineteen ten? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, all of that block looks good, but they started with that. So <laughs> yeah. 
Like if you think this 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 uh, this Amazon team, if you gave this Amazon team plus strength on on like four players, it would still be less TV. Yeah. <laughs> and then you would think, wow, that's a crazy team. But um, I mean, it, it's a decent team. It's a decent enough decent enough team. This isn't it? Some guards, some match four. Um, it's not a bad draw for uh, for Sergal. I mean, he could have had a lot worse. Any of the dwarves or chorfs or yeah. I mean, there's no tackle palmers like uh, to murder the fuck out of him. I think there is, isn't there? Oh, was there one? Yeah. Did I he have a tackle palm? Oh, he did. He had a tackle palm berserker. He did. Sorry. Yeah, with with jump up as well. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, he can't not have that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he can't not have that. Yeah. So you know, that's um, but I, you've got. I mean, I think it's a bit of a bad matchup for for Amazon's just because I mean they have got loads of blodge, obviously, like what twelve blodge slash rog. But the thing is, they've they've got lots of frenzy and lots of tackle, so they might. Um... Yeah, frenzy a poor man's tackle, and uh, Andre's a good enough coach that he can protect his tackle palmer. So, yeah, yeah. I mean the the Yeti's probably the weak link because it's gonna be it's gonna be shit. Yes, the claw <laughs> is completely wasted, and uh, and he's just got. He doesn't have block, and he's movement busted. Yeah, yeah, he's a bit crap, and yeah, there's not much not much guard on either of those teams. Um... And after that, yeah, we... and yeah, he's lucky that Circle has gone guard light, considering it's Norse, and you can never find a place to put guard. Yeah, yeah, crazy. So I, I, I'm gonna back the, I'm gonna back the Norse there. <laughs> yeah, I think it's, it's everyone back the Norse. I think is the way to go there. Yes. So we never have to talk about the other guy again. Yes, good. <laughs> and then Juhani and I'm coming for you versus Run Forest. Okay. Who came for Jehania? Yeah, Jehania, I'm coming for you, is Yakastay's Underworld team. Right. Because Jehania ran Underworld before he decided to do Nurgle. Right. And was top top Underworld. So Yakastay named his team after him. Right. And he's got he's got a fantastic Skaven Blitzer there with a Claw Palm, Horns and Tackle. Very nice. All, all normal roles, isn't it, for a Underworld Blitzer? Yes, yeah. They don't need doubles for the good stuff. Yep, and two normals for the troll. No, it's not. It's a it's a double for block, but a normal yeah, for double. claw. <laughs> so he's got a block troll. Um, yeah, he hasn't got best a goblin again named after. There's two. There's two of me on this team. He's accidentally oh, named no. me twice. Yeah, there's two of you. Okay, and and it looks with, with four plus three plus four plus two plus three plus TD for the win. It looks like he saw my game against the, uh, <laughs> the Wood Elves before they <laughs> happened. <laughs> I love dicings, brilliant. Uh, yeah, there's not much apart from the claw palm, is there? He hasn't got any stats no. or anything. Yakaste is like a weird underworld magician. <laughs> like he just shows up with a team, and you're like, "What's this crap?" And then you're like three 0 down. Yeah, this this looks so, like very poor but team. but he's got such a bad draw. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's it against? Run Forest. Okay. That's Aldrea's murderous wolf team. Oh dear. Oh dear. The t t I mean, Claw doesn't do much against <laughs> Underworld at least, but it, it's still two Tackle Palm Wolves. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's, uh... <coughs> that's a good team, isn't it? That's a good team. I, sorry, I need to choke there. I don't know what happened. <laughs> Giving away a lot of TV, at least. I mean, he'll get Glart and uh, a wizard, probably. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He'll have, he'll have a lot. Of, he's got he'll given away a lot of TV, but I, I would feel like the the underworld is just not going to have enough tools, really, to, to do the job. You know, like, if if you remember Elliot's underworld, who beat Ducky's lizard men, he had, like, a strength five guy and stuff, and an edge four, and, you know, things that gave him things, but... This underworld is just like there's nothing to it, is there? And he's he's done well to qualify. You know, he's got he had a great record with him and stuff. But um, I think the team is going to let down Yak stay there. That's going to be yeah. I mean, uh, I will I I will give it to Yak, but it's my it's my heart, not my head. <laughs> Let's <laughs> yeah. go with that. Um, I think a, a Glart will actually be more useful in this than anything else because he comes with Juggernaut, so he can actually blitz flash golems without worrying about it. Yeah, he could. Yeah. Yeah, um, but <laughs> Andre Aldrea has a blodge flash column, so he has to blitz the other one. Right. <laughs> um, 
Right, so um, yeah, so I, obviously I'm backing Aldrea to win that. We're both backing Andri to win the other one. So out of this little group of four, um, I'm going to back Aldrea to beat the to beat the Norse or the Amazons. I think either one could win, and I think either one would lose to the Necro, and I think the Necro beat the Underworld. Can can I cheat and uh, go for Yak in the first one, but then Aldrea, who really wins the first one, to get through the second match? <laughs> yeah. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. So, so we've got Aldrea. So we've we've we've, we've agreed so far, anyway, on the first three groups of four. <laughs> right, next group of four is Semites ver Yeni, okay, versus No Skeleton. That's Poopock's team, isn't it? Is it? I think so. So is the unlucky fuck. Who's got... <laughs> no skeletons. That must be a Kemri team, surely. Surely that's a. I'm gonna look at no skeletons. It's an undead team. Oh, okay. It's Singolo who just followed me. Oh, sorry, Singolo. <laughs> <laughs> These guys are fucked. Oh, sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, he's got. He's got a great, well, great record, 16-4-1. I mean, even though it's undead, that's a good record, isn't it? But not a lot of development. Um, I guess it's okay for 21 games. Like, it's good development for 21, but not good development general, overall. Is yeah, it I mean, it's, it's for 17-20, it's, it's pretty good. It's got his strength up mummy and stuff, but so much guard on the Chof team is not going to care too much about that. Yeah, yeah, it's plus strength block. Two block mummies is good. Pom white is great. Pom tackle. Uh, three, only three guard total. Bludge, bludge step, sure hands, wrestle tackle. I mean, he's got... It's a good team for 17-20, but obviously you'd rather have 10 more skills. <laughs> yeah, if we didn't already know who we was playing, there we'd be a lot more positive about this team. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah oh, this, but... this is a really good team you used to have, Singolo. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, this is the juggernaut of the playoffs. Um, unbelievable record, 34-6-1. That's, that's up there with the best records of all time in, in Champs Ladder. And um, it's, yeah. it's not a coincidence that three chores rolled claw first skill. <laughs> yeah, three claw first, another one claw. I mean, four claw, two of them with piling on, one with mighty blow, three stand firm, loads of guard, nine guard. Nine guard. <laughs> the two guard. Those hobgoblins with guard and block are just. <laughs> it's like, fuck off. <laughs> Your team's good enough. Fuck off with that. Yep, that's an insane team. But he's going to have, what, he's going to have like 500 inducements more or less, give or take. Uh, he's 22-10 without his bank. And um, what was single or 17-20. So, yeah, 490 plus his 40 he can spend. So, 530. Yeah, so he could have like a wizard and Cheney and then more stuff. So, you know. All I mean. the stuff. <laughs> All the stuff. All the stuff, but you know, maybe maybe it's maybe it's good. Maybe you know, he can still win, can't he? At the end of the day, as, as horrific well, as undead. this team looks. So that's that's the one bonus for a start. He's got regen to help survive this ridiculous claw palm attack. Yeah, I mean, this is a ridiculous, ridiculous team, and obviously pick and pupok to win. But you know, with with some luck, anything can happen, can't it? In Blood Bowl, so. But yeah, it is good for the rest of the bracket that poop box first game is immediately against like a tough bash team yeah yeah and I so mean, therefore pupok can take some damage yeah because pupok won't want to won't want to won't want to pile on any of the zombies that he's hitting and uh and the, the mummies do have some strength even though they don't have the guard so they're still probably going to get some 2ds with strength six and yeah you, you know he can roll some dice and win for sure but obviously picking pupok to win there <laughs> <laughs> yeah so right. the the main hope is that uh even when Poopock wins, rather than if. Even when Poopock wins, he's missing something important mm. for the, like the next game. Yeah, and he he could he really could not win. I mean, not, nothing is nothing is nothing is set in stone in Blood Bowl, is it? Right. And we've got Kedid Crunches. Or oh, you you'll be able to pronounce this. This must be Diamond. Ka Kyrodith. There you go. That's what it's, I said. it's Welsh for Cardiff. Kyrodith. Okay. Cardiff Crunches versus. Yeah. Sporky Dentro, right. So the, the top two orcs get each other in the first round. Oh, wow. <laughs> so let, let's see whether or not we're right about Dio's orc team being way better than Spartacus. Yeah. So one's <laughs> 1940, effectively. Dioni Dionysian, is it? Dionysian. 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 Yeah. Um, yeah, that's pretty good, isn't it? Movement A, dodge, guard. 
a pommer. He's light on mighty blow. The, 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 this is the thing. I mean, at first when I looked at his team, I was like, wow, this is an incredible team. But he is he is very light on mighty blow. Only one mighty blow and one pom. I would have liked to have seen the skills spread around a little more to get more mighty blow on the blitzes and everything. But yeah, um, I, I don't think he's going to get many removals, but I, I foresee Spartaco's entire game being standing everyone up. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's going to be his turn. <laughs> he just stands his whole team back up. Yep. And, and you know, to be fair, Mighty Blow isn't so good against Orcs anyway. Yeah, as Adon says, that, you know, there's going to be the, the guard is going to be more important than Mighty Blow anyway, really, in an Orc mirror. But still, more Mighty Blow, you've got the more chances you've got to get lucky, haven't you? <laughs> but uh, that's, those, that's a those very good team. Those four block guard Black Orcs are just going to be. With the big difference in this match for four block yeah. guard black orcs versus two rookies and two would just block yeah yeah i mean he's got he's got seven guard total and a plus strength and then spartaco has got two plus strengths but only three guard but he does have more mighty blow and pom oh, he's got this he's got the same pom but he's got he's got an extra mighty blow um but yeah his black orcs are trash <laughs> yeah <laughs> and uh, one of his mighty blows niggled so that <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's... But he gets, uh, what is it, 1940, so he gets 330, including his own bank. Yeah. Uh, I, I might be able to afford Varag, we might see a Varag. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> maybe. You never see better. some of these star players, do It's nice to see them every now and again. Yeah, Ripper, Ripper. Ripper would be all right, wouldn't it? Oh, can you afford Ripper? He's, he's quite expensive, I can't remember how much he is. Let's I think look. Ripper's cheaper than Varag, to be honest. Uh, Ripper, yeah, no, Ripper's two seventy. You can definitely afford Ripper. Yeah, and then he's got. Uh, <laughs> then he's and got Varag is two ninety, so you can afford either of them. But Varag gives him, uh, you know, no, they both got loner. So yeah, no, Ripper, probably Ripper then. Yeah, R Ripper gives you a strength six and a strength five to try and break through this wall of guard. <laughs> yeah. And then it gives him another mighty blow. So yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't hate Ripper here, to be honest. He could even sack the like uh, the block tackle Lino and get Ripper, and then maybe a wizard as well as Ripper, potentially. No, I think uh, that's it. he's got three forty, so Ripper only leaves him with seventy. Yeah. So yeah, he can't so he get could... a wizard uh, unless he really. Oh yeah, he could get a wizard if he actually does sack that one. Yeah, just sack a sack a Lino and get and get a wizard. Maybe it could be an it could be an option, couldn't it? I'm not saying it's a smart option. But it could be. <laughs> he uh, he does do that kind of thing. Um, that's how he. Remember, he was in the finals. Uh, well, he's a champion now, isn't he? He is the champion. Um, yeah, Sparta calls the champ. Yeah, and to go go up against Elliot, he sacked off his team. Yeah, yeah. He was he was giving away like four hundred and forty TV or something, and the actual game like Elliot got nothing. He yeah. sat literally Sparta just sacked off his team. Yeah, yeah. So, and he's a very good coach, Sparta Call, but. Um... I will, I will still back him to lose. He, he's a very good coach, and he's the current champion, but I'm still going to back him to lose in a, yeah. in a mirror match. I think match maybe if they had equal TV teams, I would, that'd be the match to watch. Yeah. Like, Dio. I'm going to keep trying to call him Dio now. Dio versus Spartaco with equal TV orcs would definitely be the, the match to tune in for in the first round. Yeah. But with the teams being so uneven, you, you've got to give it to Dio. Yeah, it's still going to be interesting though, because you know he's he's going to have the wizard and probably or you know Ripper or whatever, and he's he's still uh, he's always going to have a chance. But yeah, um, Varag used to have leader. I don't think he has anymore. Um, but whoever wins, <laughs> I think Pupok will will come through from this. this yeah, wonderful. whoever wins is hoping for single or to have a day. Yeah, exactly. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. That's gonna they're... if if Pupok comes out to that match unscathed. He's just gonna twat even Dio's orcs. Yeah, but then Dio's got the got a bit of gun. You know, some dice rolls. You never know what's gonna happen. <laughs> right, page two. If anyone could beat Poopbox's team, uh, it'll be Dio's orcs, I reckon. Oh, I don't know. I think they, I think they all could. I think they're all gonna need a lot of luck to beat to beat Poopbox's team. So I think they all could. Like you know, a, a, an elf team can just bolt and get it and. They're probably probably a, a, any of the elf teams probably going to have a better chance to be honest. He's um, but he's he's right at the right level. Like he's uh, he's got a really good team, but he's not quite high enough that he he does get the wizard against Pupok. Yeah, see right. that's rough, isn't it? Whereas any elf team, I think, has probably got more chance because they can just 
They can, they, they, you know, he's going to need, whoever beats him is going to need good dice. Yeah, but have you seen the elf teams? Like, uh, <laughs> it's just, I mean, Ziggy's Wood Elves, probably not. Yeah. That knee proxies Wood Elves is half a team. Yeah. Aldrea's team's pretty good, isn't it? Aldrea could be him. Funny yes, enough, yeah. Aldrea's in the, uh, in the, in the four above him as well, isn't it? So, so we're, yeah, we're four yeah, from this bracket. half of the draw. We're far from this half of the door we're predicting is Krampus My Style, uh, Andy Davos Chaos, versus Meat Grinders, Bleeding Hippies, um, Nurgle, and Run Forest, Aldrea's Necro, versus... <laughs> yep, that's what I said. Um, <laughs> which is Pupox Chorfs. So we're predicting all of the claw teams to win. <laughs> Play each other. <laughs> So that's good, isn't it? And after that, I mean, yeah, I would definitely back Meat Grinders to win that one. And yeah, I think honestly, I think if Aldrea's team versus Pupox could go either way. You know, it gives I, even kind of the dice. I'll, I'd give I give that to Dio. I think this half of the bracket ends with uh, Dio versus Hippie. Wow, really? Yeah, you you would you would back Dio over Pupox, and then yeah, Dio. Over... I, I I'm gonna give it. Yeah, I'm gonna go with oh. that. I'm gonna I'm gonna predict. Boldly, the Poopock does not make uh, the what would that be? The semis. Wow. Well, I am going to predict that he does. Um, Andy beats Aldrea, and then Hippie beats him. So the Hippie will win this half of the draw. That's my prediction. <laughs> right. Next, second half of the draw. Yep. Chemrification versus how do you play them? Um, well, that's Kebby versus Dwarves. It is, yes. Kem's 1880 Kemri. Kemri um, also changed place on the morning of the end of the season. Did they? Mongloom. Mongloom was top Kemri. Wow. And Zavoin. I don't know what the fuck you say his name. I'm going to go with Zavoin. <laughs> uh, Zavoin. Passed him. Passed him on the morning of qualifications. Mongloom did not have time to play another game. Yeah. Wow. Brutal. And, and uh, it's a Kemri team. <laughs> It's a weird Kemri team with Wrestle, Dodge, Skellingtons. Yeah, and... with a with a LOS of Rodge, <laughs> Skeleton. <laughs> yeah, an Adjup Thrower, a Bludge Thrower. The Blitzrars don't have piling on. He's got one block on the Tomb Guardians. It's He has a Bribe Stadium, but only one dirty player Skeleton. Yeah, well, you don't need one if you've got a bribe. He's got a bribe. <laughs> He's got a bribe for a, a dirty player, sneaky git skeleton as well. Yeah, um, that guy. That guy doesn't get sent off very often. Oh man, that could have been a wrestle dodge skeleton. He could have just had three wrestle dodge skeletons. <laughs> and that would have been amazing. <laughs> He's like, he's the he's the top of the second half of the bracket, so he'll actually be home through oh, for yes. all, all the way as well. So that bribe stadium will be in play. Yeah, and loads of cash. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. It's actually a 1760 team. Oh, shit, yeah. 120 extra K. Yeah, so interesting. Uh, so he's actually, yeah, 1760. Yeah. Versus... Um, which brings him down uh, 120. So, no, he can still have a wizard if you want to, eh, Garyon? But Garyon's is only 1640, yeah, so there's... he's, st he's still got uh, substantial inducements, hasn't he? Well, I think he has 120. Plus forty of his own, it's hundred and sixty. So you could just get a wizard straight off. Yeah, that seems good. So, so the Kemri might might drop a player, mightn't they? Uh, like you know, you could you could yeah. drop the dirty player, sneaky git, replace him with a rookie, something like that. Maybe he'll do that. Um, I don't really know. What I'd go for you. I mean, I think I probably got to go for the dwarves. I'd go for the dwarves. They got loads more guard. Missing missing the dauntless is obviously bad. Um, when you've got yeah, four string five, it's a bit of an issue. But the the bigger issue is that most the most of uh, the Camry team is armor seven, and this has got six mighty blow. Yeah, I mean that is that is the thing. There's there's a lot of there's going to be a lot of mighty blow happenings piling on as well. Dwarves are good, but I mean Camry are a pain in the ass to be fair for for dwarves. But I think I think Garion will win that with with the dwarves personally. So who's next? Clicking the wrong things here. <laughs> uh, Pacific Pirates X. Do you agree? By the way, dwarves. Yes. Good. I agree. Gary on wins that. Yeah. Good. Right. Pacific, Pacific Pirates, Pirates is Tapanasty's humans. Right. Versus Again, because I played Steven. them. 
I imagine I played so many games last season that I've played like half of these teams. <laughs> yeah, I might. Yeah, you played like 140 games or something, didn't you, this season? So you've played um, every, yeah, you've played everybody. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Uh, anyone who didn't sit on a record, who was still playing, like because I didn't play the first the first part of the season. Right. Anyone who didn't play sit on a record, I ended up playing everyone. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that's um, Papanasty's humans, I believe. Yeah, it is. Uh, it is. And they're, they're not bad. They're fine. Who'd I beat them with? Let me have a look. I beat them with my chorfs. Yeah. Bludge Guard, mm. Ogre. Uh, strength Up Guard, Blitzer. So four Mighty Blows. And a piling on as well. Um, three Tacklers. Two Edge, four Catchers. So they've got like... Okay, they're not... I was going to say like the shit gut runners, but one's movement seven. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> They're like really shit gutter runners. And, uh, oh, no, he's got the strong arm accurate thrower. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah, he does passing plays because oh. of the edge four catchers. Oh, no. He does a bunch of passing plays. But the blodge, the blodge guard, all good. It's, it was the most annoying thing in the world. Yeah, yeah, I can imagine. That's going to be hard to deal with. And 13 players got a dirty player in there for the fouls. That's, uh, that's not terrible, is it? That's not terrible. Um, as human teams go, and he's twenty four five, which is a good record, isn't it? Yep. And he's up against Skaven. And there was no real competition for humans last season either. I mean, I I beat uh, this team two games before playoffs, and it didn't make any difference to his record. Wow. <laughs> is it? Is it? Is it not Mike the Machine? Yeah, it is. Yeah, the oh. yellow Skaven, Mike Machine. I looked for Mike, but it didn't come up. Oh dear. Here he is. Page two. Skaven, you can't search for Skaven because it's the team name is like Color FF. Yeah, yeah. Everything. Um. But yeah, I think ugh, the Skaven team is better. I think. Uh, I think this is a good matchup for the Skaven because it's not like humans aren't extreme, are they? All the, all the heavy hitters are in the first half of the draw, actually, aren't they? And uh, uh, I say all of them. There's a lot of heavy hitters in the first half of the draw. So uh, Papanasty is... does have three mighty blow tackle blitzers. Yeah, he does. Yeah, he so does. that might uh, that might cause Mike some problems. But I, no offense if you're listening, Papanasty. I think Mike Mike's a better coach with probably the better team. I think so... it's a, I think it's a I think it's a decent team. Yeah, I think it's you know because he's going to get to do the claw palm hits. That's the thing. Uh, you know, he's not going to get guard locked out like some teams would. Uh, you know, it depends. Obviously, look, there's a lot of gameplay to go in this game, isn't there? Because humans aren't amazing. Skaven are pretty amazing, but they're always pretty dice based. So. And he's gonna have a wizard. Yeah, yeah. If he gets a wizard, that's gonna be bad times. He's, he's having it. <laughs> yeah. He's, okay. Yeah. Oh, hang on. Hang on. No, he's got a skill to take. So let's hang on. Let's work this out. He's sixteen ninety, but he's really seventeen ten because he's got a skill to take. So he's yeah. seventeen ten, and uh, Papanasty is eighteen fifty. Yeah. So. Papa Nasty could fire his 13th Lino to deny the wizard. Yeah. Uh, so if he does that, he doesn't have to play a wizard, but then he's only playing with 12 men against two Claw Palmers. Yeah, so. yeah. Oh, yeah, I think I think the, uh, I think the, I think the Skaven will win that. Um, so then we've... Do, do, you, do you think Skaven will win? Yes. Yeah, 100% back, Mike, for that. Okay, and then we've got Skaven versus Dwarves. Um, oh, that's tough. It is, isn't it? <laughs> also, I mean, you got Skaven versus Dwarves after Skaven have just gone through a match with three Tackle Mighty Blow guys. Yeah, yeah. So that that might make a difference. Depends on what's left of Mike's team. And then I'm not, I'm not that confident of the Dwarves even beating the Kemri. So on the basis that I'm more confident of the Skaven beating the humans... <laughs> 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 than I am of the Dwarves beating the Kemri. I'm going to back Skaven to win that little group of four. Well, just for a, just for a break then, I will back Garyon beating what's left of Mike's team. Brilliant. Because I think that's what I think will happen. I think Skaven will win, but I don't think they'll have a have their team left. Yep, that seems fair. That seems fair. Right. Um, so we've got Test versus Mirror Breakers. Well, that is Knee Proxy's Wood Elves versus Diomed's Chaos, I think. Oh. So, yeah, this is a 
very unspectacular <laughs> Wood Elf team. When yeah, to say the least. Catcher. <laughs> Even if he had his catcher back, it's not amazing. But the catcher at least makes it a good team. He hasn't got him. <laughs> so yeah. He's got a block tree. Brilliant. He now of that. He'll, be, he'll be super useful. Yeah. Even once once a... it gets claw mighty blowed on turn one, they'll be super useful. Yeah. I mean, even if this war dancer gets plus strength, it still doesn't look that exciting, does it? <laughs> um, he's got he's got a wizard, but he's 1500 anyway, so the wizard induced the wizard stadium isn't even that good. Um, yeah, that's that's not great, is it? He's against mirror breakers. Actually, his wizard stadium's bad, then, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, probably. I don't know who mirror breakers are though. Oh, Diomed's uh, much higher TV chaos. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, there you go. Yeah, it's weird with this beast man, this, this strong arm beast man. I, I don't endorse that. <laughs> but um, five guys. I'm sure he must have done. He must have taken it after he rolled Adge on the other guy and thought, "I can do two turns now." <laughs> yeah, it's weird, it's weird, isn't it? It's so weird because I, I think you know, I was a normal one, but still, yeah, you could have gone two heads, offend or kick off return, anything other than strong arm. Ugh. Don't like that. Yeah. But I think kick off. I, I think I go kick off return. Kick off returns like one of those. It's one of the little packet of underrated skills that uh, people forget is actually really useful. Yeah, I think I think it does. Like a lot of the games, you're gonna really struggle against. Uh, Elves is when you fail to secure the ball, isn't it? And then kickoff return makes it that much better. It stops your team getting split in two and everything. So my only draw this season is because Skaven kicked to the corner of the end zone twice. Kickoff return would have saved my ass. There you go. So um, yeah, I reckon. I reckon. I mean, you know, elves can, can even though it's a it's a completely unspectacular elf team. <laughs> <laughs> that's giving up a wizard for no reason because it's at the yeah. stadium and he doesn't have the money to cancel his wizard and then buy it back so either he either keeps it or he loses it forever yeah he might just lose it yeah yeah so yeah that's uh, you know two two guys to punch with I don't know the, the claw's not so good but he can claw up on the tree can't he get rid of that and then maybe he's gone I don't yeah, know he's got that. he's got strength four and guard, so the tree is getting claw palmed like turn one if yeah. it's on the line. It's just it's just getting claw palmed instantly. Yeah, and he's twenty four seven three, so he's got a very good record. That's a really good record with chaos. So yeah, Diomed's a good coach. So yeah, so, uh, yeah. I mean, Knee Proxy's obviously a good coach as well, but yeah, Knee Proxy's he's very he's good. Got a lot he beat, to work with. He beat Ducky in the World Cup in the first round of the World Cup. So yeah. He's, He's a very good coach, but his team is basically a nothing team. But you, you just never know what's going to happen in it. A few critical rolls, anything can happen. But I'm this still one, this one is more of a toss-up, though. This one's one of yeah. the like I'm I yeah I could definitely see the Wood Elves winning. Yeah, but oh, again, yeah, if they yeah. do win, I think they're going to be more banged up than Mike Skaven are going to be. Yeah, yeah. This this seems like it, yeah, it's really hard to call. But again, just on the basis that the you know two dice blocks are more reliable than. <laughs> Than dodges basically in it. Yeah, Two, you know I'm, I'm going to back chaos on on that, but easily could be a win for the Wood Elves despite how unexciting the uh, unexciting <laughs> elf team it is. I think the saving grace is probably that that uh, the Rackle Mighty Blow guy is Rackle Mighty Blow. <laughs> it's yeah. instead of like a tackle palmer or something. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's a good sacker, but not so much a good like you know twat the fuck out of elves guy. Exactly. Yeah. So, so uh, yeah, I'm I'm gonna go the chaos there. Do you reckon chaos? Ah, uh, you've cut out for me. Are you still here? Yeah, I'm still here. Yes. Okay. Yeah. All right, you're back. Okay, um, okay. Yeah. So next up. Next up, twenty steps to hell. That's K fool zons versus please no more ones. Random boys' helps. Oh, that's that is hell for random boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, random boy's gone. Oh shit! In your chat already. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Um, right. So. Oh wait a second. Right. And K, K fool now not looking the fool for having four tackle. No, exactly. Dream dream match for him, isn't it? Four tackle, and he's playing against a bunch of dodge. <laughs> ah, thank you, Gary, on's posted the challenge link. Yeah, yeah, I saw, yeah. That's good. Um, 
so yeah i mean that's that it's a it's not a dream because obviously they're still elves and they can still do things but he's got two might he's got two dirty players for them he's got a tackle pommer to hit them all the time he's got loads more tackle to put be annoying with stand firm and bludge and guard and everything it's a it's he's a, tasty got a tackle team, pom that. killer that'll help yeah and, plus and movement. yeah four to four random tackle is now suddenly like <laughs> business <laughs> yeah yeah and uh who is it? Please no more. Please no more ones. Please no more ones. He's also got more TV than the Zons, and the Zons looks a better team, really, I think. But he's got these stats, so... Yeah, it's the stats that are bumping his TV up, isn't he? Yeah, and if the stats pay off, um, then it's going to be good. I mean, he's still got the movement, loads more movement than the Zons. No mighty blow, though, to take advantage of their armor 7. Yeah, and only a couple of tacklers. Um, got less tackle than the Zons have got. <laughs> yeah, I think I think it's a rough matchup for Random Boy. To be honest, I do think it's a rough matchup. Probably going to be facing a wizard, and I definitely going to be facing a wizard. Not, <laughs> I don't think he can afford to fire a dude. Yeah, uh, and I think even if he does, he might give up. He's eighteen ten, and uh, where's K Fool? K Fool is oh no, K Fool is seventeen ten. No. So he might just go with a bride and, and, and foul him as well. He, and he has no money. Yeah. Oh, he's got so, money. yeah, no wizard. There we go, a random boy. There's a bonus for you. Yeah. K Fool being poor. As, uh... Yeah, he is very <laughs> he good. managed to save your ass from a wizard. Yeah. He is, and he is very good and very experienced with Amazons as well, isn't he? He's not just, he's not just a good coach who's, like, using Amazons. He, he plays Amazons a lot. So he... If you're out there, K-Fool, you've got 13 men. Just letting you know, if you fire that 13th uh, Zon, you could get a wizard against Random Boy. <laughs> wow. <laughs> now, this isn't collusion because, of course... It's just it's just knows. a factor that I've noticed and said out loud. Yes, and I'm sure he'll notice it too. <laughs> <laughs> right. So, yes. Um, I'm going to back... I'm going to back him to win there anyway. Amazon's... And then Amazons versus Chaos. I think the Amazons... Um, Amazons are my pick to win that group of four there. Uh, yeah, probably. I mean, k has got a good good block of four there, hasn't he? Yeah. I mean, he could have had a lot worse block of four. Yeah, I think that's a nice yeah. a nice open draw for all teams. You could see any of those four win, winning winning out of that, couldn't you, to be fair? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. I mean, if, uh, if Neproxy gets through, then he gets either Elves or Amazons. So, again... Yeah, and any no one of those murderous shit things. for him. Yeah, and, yeah, that would be fun. Little, that could be anyone, literally anyone. But yeah, I think let's go with K Fool. Let's yeah. go with K Fool for his first playoffs to get through. Yeah, and next we've got Leap is Fun versus Ziggy's Agile Academy. So Ziggy, Ziggy's got the fucking shit kids left team. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so Ziggy might get through the first round as well. Him and Andy do. have got like <laughs> amazing first round draws. Wow, he's only got ten players on his team. So he's he's actually eighteen forty Ziggy. He's, he's got a pretty tasty team, really. Movement nine yes. five catcher. Stat ups uh are Ziggy's thing. Yeah. For some reason, all of his teams, he was the one with like this, the movement eight, strength five, ball. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's. It's interesting, isn't it? Like, he's got four guard. Okay, one's on the tree, so pretty mobile, but two edge five guards. An edge five leaper. Um, He's got an edge five leap guard. <laughs> Yeah, and an H5... So he can out Kislev the Kislev. Yeah, and an H5 dancer as well. <laughs> <laughs> so an H5 wrestle, so he's got he's got crazy leaping abilities and just dodging in general. Incredible 3 H5. This, this is... I mean, none of the elf teams in this competition are really unbelievable or anything, but I think this is probably the best one of them. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it, it definitely is. These are top wood elves as well, weren't they? They were, yeah. Not the craziest. Uh, he went uh, nineteen two one, which is a great record. But yeah, I mean, then you you stop playing. <laughs> you just instantly stop playing if you get that. Yeah, maybe what he should have done was just get a get a tactical concede in to get his player back. But <laughs> yeah, uh, I don't know why more players don't realize they can do that. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, interesting, isn't it? Not you never you don't see it much. But um Just last last day, check that the loss won't hurt you and just uh yeah, get your player back. Yep. And he's up against Kagrash, who I confess I've never heard of before. Uh no. Me either. And he has a sixteen forty Kislev team and to be fair, Kislev are pretty good against elves. Because they've got diving tackle, like okay, not this one because it's sixteen forty. It's got like zero development, but <laughs> the t the diving tackle is pretty good. You know, if they've got like tackle mighty blow diving tacklers, that's that can be pretty annoying. And the uh, the prehensile tail on on the croxigore that's called a tame bear. See, see, this is exactly the same as snotlings and and, <laughs> and noblars. It's a croxigore. Not the same. It's it is exactly the same. Let's not start that again. <laughs> it's exactly the same. So this is a Croxagore with block stand firm guard, which is you know a pretty good Croxagore, but it's uh, it's nickled, um, and I just think they're down too much TV to be honest. Even, but it's an eleven man team. It's an eleven man team, and he yeah he's got a decent record with Kislev, hasn't he? Nineteen six four. It's it's you know I'm not I'm not implying that Kagrash is a terrible coach or anything, but I just haven't heard of him. So I've never heard of him. It's uh, not. He's it's not like K. Fool, where I know he's one of the best in the world, and he's played you know thousands of games on football, and he's yeah he is top rated I think on tabletop at the moment, and he's won so, you know tabletop events, and he plays his Amazon loads, so I'm I'm sure that he's not going to get outplayed by anybody really, unless he makes a terrible mistake, which anyone yeah. can do. Uh, so I don't know I don't know who Kagrash is. That's all I'm saying. And he's, you know, he's got something, but I think Ziggini's just going to have too many tools, isn't he, with all the edge five? Unless he gets heavily banged on, I think, uh, I think the Wood Elves will be take this one. So he's sixteen thirty, and what was Ziggy? Did we say eighteen uh, forty? So what did what did you say? It cut out eighteen forty. Sixty. Oh, okay, so it will be Kislev with the wizard. Yeah. So maybe, but I mean. Ziggy's just better Kislev of this team. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. Yeah. But you know, so, you never know. I if think. He... I'm not certain if chat knows. Has Ziggy ever got past the first round? I've got no idea. I'm sure I saw someone the other day say he never got, he's never got, he's qualified like a number of times, but always loses in the first round. Yeah. So this might, this might be his season. It could be, yeah. It's our year, lads. It's our year. <laughs> 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 Right, I meat processing plant. I know that's Christopher's team. That's Christopher versus the vampires. Oh dear! Oh poor vampires. Yeah, that's not a good draw for him. No, no, the meat, the meat processing plant is a monster team. He's got big tam and smog tam. Oh, brilliant! I, 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 like, I like this. <laughs> I like this team. Oh, brilliant! This this is Crucifer's most imaginative team yet, and for that deserves victory. Um, only one claw palm and a claw mighty blow, so he's not he's not pupok levels of claw, but he's got two good bulls. Um, yeah, bludge guard, both of them. Uh, tap bludge tackle guard. One's both got being bludge. Yeah, that top tackle. one not having break tackles annoying, but he's got edge up to make up for it. So yeah. He's got block show hands, pack carry, bare minimum ball carrier, and a dirty player. Bacon's the dirty player, oh baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, everyone, everyone loves a bit of bacon. So, Every one of Crucifer's teams has a player named Ivan. Does it? Uh, maybe yeah, that's every single name. one. I, I, I don't know why. I'm sure there's a story behind it, but they're always named after whatever the thing. Except for there's always a player called Ivan. <laughs> Brilliant. And uh, yeah, he's strength four. He's a strength four, so that's good, isn't it? Um, so one, four, five, six, seven guard, fair amount of mighty blow, palm, pretty pretty good team. Nineteen thirty could definitely win win the tournament with that team, isn't it? I mean, it's not it's yeah. good enough to win the tournament for sure. I mean, he's he's got a he's got a good draw, but. <laughs> <laughs> Vampires with a wizard would be normally good, except these are just weird, killy vampires that aren't going to be dodging through to take the ball. Yeah, this is weird, and and like you know, fair play to no go grids. Twenty six eight eight's a really good record with vampires. I think after playing some games myself, I can attest to the fact that this is a pretty good record with vampires. <laughs> yeah, he's got no dodge. 
It's just a bashy <laughs> vampire team. It's weird. It's so weird. It's so like the opposite of all the everybody what what everybody else in the world would do with vampires. Um, he's just made them bashy. So I mean, it's it's wild, isn't it? No dodge on the team at all. But he's against he's against chaffs. So there's no tackle for Crucifer. <laughs> Six it's tackle so wasted. Odd. I mean, it's just so odd. Two, two tackle pom, and <laughs> vampires, and one strength five vampire with tackle and block. Yeah, it's it's bizarre. How um, did how did he beat Lupak and then draw with Lupak? <laughs> Lupak must have been raging. Yeah, it's uh, it's really really weird team. But it's it's worked for him, hasn't it? And you know, even it, if Christopher wins, he might get he might get damaged in this match. Uh, he might take some damage, but it's it's really really weird team. And I, and I would back Christopher to win that game every day of the week and twice on Sundays. Yeah, I, I don't think I don't think Nogo has as much of a shot. No. Um, and also, I he actually for a change couldn't do that. Who will get his players back thing because. Vampires were he was playing to pass Caprion's vampires like in the last day, so uh, he didn't he couldn't afford a loss. So I right, I'm back Christopher there, and I'll back Christopher to beat whoever wins out of Zigini and and the Slan as well. To be honest, I think yeah, I th- I think so too. Uh, I so yeah, it might it might be Ziggy's year to get through the first round, <laughs> but not the second, <laughs> and that's it. <laughs> Yeah. And but, you know, you, again, you never know because the vampires could do stuff and win, especially with a wizard. You know, gaze things, get the ball, score. You never know. And then, and either one could win. You know, so take everything with a grain of salt. Not in, not having a go at anybody or anything, right? Z- Ziggy's Wood Elves are the kind of team that annoy the piss out of Christopher. Yeah, he yeah. does get super tilted at dodgy Wood Elves. Yeah, and like you know, just elves who like leap around the place, and it's so that might help. But yeah, exactly. I still, I still, I still think Christopher takes that round of four. Yeah, yeah, I think, I think he should. But again, you know, all it takes is a bolt or some dice, and it's all over, isn't it? Um, right, Thunder versus True Praiser of Sun. This is the two K Bert. It must be. Versus... Yeah, it is. Uh, Sven's dwarves versus so Sven gets the shitty end of the stick and gets the two K cybernite press. <laughs> so yeah, I mean it's it's a fine fifteen fifty team, I guess. Eleven players, um, four mighty blow and a pom, six guard. <laughs> The problem is the dwarves can't them. do anything with inducements. Like, what's he gonna get? He should get a death roller. Yeah, he probably he might. Yeah, and it's it's all right. Like it's good for laddering, isn't it? But it's just it seems like, and it, it could win. It could win, but he doesn't have any strength, which isn't good. And Cyber Knight's team is just a lot better, I think. Yeah, it's way better. I'd like to point out that Garyon, who you know randomly made this draw. <laughs> <laughs> Has somehow put put his friendly rival Sven's dwarves <laughs> against Cyber Knight. <laughs> yeah, and Cyber Knight's team is pretty good. It's it's, it's... yeah, that's, that's, that's an understatement. It's good. It's his best team that he's ever taken the playoffs. Yeah, it's it's pretty much how how you'd want it built. And I mean, personally, I'd rather have a pom uh, blocker. Blocker. But... The fact that he's got it on the blitzer means that it's not a miss, um, and I would personally rather have you know three mighty blow blockers than two stand firm and one mighty blow. But he's got the rackle, he's got all the guard that he needs, loads of guard. Three add jumps is obviously great, loads of sidestep, um, and yeah, twenty ten Bretts are still Bretts, <laughs> but. <laughs> but that's a very nice Brett team. It is very nice. And yeah, as you say, Dwarves aren't a good team for making use of inducements. Um, they, got... they really just aren't. They All they can do is add more blocks. <laughs> it's, just, it's got a death roller to add more blocking of things. Yeah, and if he does add the death roller, he, he could he could maybe dauntless it anyway. So, um... <laughs> that would be hilarious. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> just gets four plus tackle bomb. <laughs> Could happen. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I'm, I've got it. I've got a bed cyber night there. That's that's pretty good. That's that's yeah. A pretty I good, I pretty think you'll I think you'll run circles around uh, the stubby little fuckers. <laughs> like I say, they're just stuck. Yeah. And the last match is sanity test failures versus ne'er do wells, and one of these is purple chest. For, well, ne'er do wells is Jahanian's amazing Nurgle team. Oh. Oh, that and was the a... other one is dead. <laughs> <laughs> that was a bad draw for Purple Chest then. <laughs> so we've got two of the uh, two two fumble legends really in Purple Chest and Key Fool, but um, yeah, Purple Chest probably not likely to do as well as, <laughs> as the as, uh, as the Hell Grannies. Um, yeah, he's got a block niggle troll. Um, okay. And a break tackle grab. A what dodge. he's got is no chance in fuckery. Yeah, a mighty but, blow, a dodge, some sidestep, 1140 goblins. But at least he qualified, you know. He obviously, obviously what Purple Chest did, he thought, I want to make the playoffs. So he went for the weakest race, which was goblins, and qualified. So, you know, fa fair play to him. But I'll be surprised if he wins his game. <laughs> I'll be surprised if he lasts the first half. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be surprised if he can't legally concede by like turn seven. Yeah. 800 TV down versus this absolute monstrosity of a team. Two <laughs> tackle pommers. <laughs> One doesn't have block, but he has jump up. Oh, we might see Morg in the playoff again at least. Yeah, we might. We might. Ripper and Morg and a wizard. I mean, that's pretty good, to be fair. Ripper Morgan, a wizard, he's got two strength six and two strength five, four mighty blow. I mean, that's not to be sniffed at. If he's lucky, it's um, yeah. it's crazy, isn't it? Oh, he just wanted to exploit the matchmaking with gobs in the altar, and then realise later he could qualify. Oh, yeah, plus he's got the altar, he's at home, isn't he? So he'll he'll definitely get Ripper and uh, Morg. Morg. Or if he wants I played to. against Morg in the CCL today. Wow. <laughs> it's day two, and I played against someone who could afford Mork. Yeah, lucky you. Well, not lucky. <laughs> Worked hard. Worked hard to get all them games in. <laughs> and yeah, two dirty players to, to like make the players mismatch more. But yeah, I mean, he's got a lot of guard, hasn't he? He's got a lot of guard. Four, four guard. Not a lot, actually, guard. Not a lot of guard. But he's only got four guard. But they're really nice warriors, aren't they? All block Yeah, guard. they are. Uh, I mean, they... And the fact that he's got that extra skill on the killers being tackle, yeah, for the goblins, yeah, he can smash goblins, and, yeah, uh, and yeah. even the beast of Nurgle has block, yeah, so it can't even be red diced away when he wanders up and just fucks up a bunch of goblins' days. Yeah, but the thing is, it's good. I think. Mean, do you know what? It might. It might be. A, it might be a surprise result just due to the fact of four big guys. So, um. So there you go. Who knows? Who knows? I mean, we I've said this last season. Like, uh, the... Wait, what? Sorry, someone was saying that someone's playing Ancient Flame. Oh, right, sorry. I, I thought he was saying that, like, an actual playoff game was happening right now. Uh, it is. But he's saying it's, uh, Ancient Flame said Papa Nasty and Random Boy. That They haven't got each other. Ah, but there there is a game though that someone someone said they were playing right now. A random boy's got um crap. We just went through laughing at it. <laughs> <laughs> Forgotten already. Random boy's got K fool. Yeah, but so somebody somebody's playing now. Uh, My oh Mike the Machine versus Pat Manasty is is playing right now. There you go, Papa. Wow, they got in quick. Yeah. Um yeah they did, didn't they? So that, but anyway, that that this last four is the last one. So Cyber yeah. Knights two K Burts might go out in the second round to two K Nergs. <laughs> That'll be an interesting I, match. I I think that's what'll happen. Yeah. I mean, no matter what, like Purple Chest gets, I I think Jahanian kills it. Yeah. Like I I think like Morg and like Ripper also just die as easily as anyone else against this team. 
Yeah. I mean, uh, it is, it's surprisingly tough. I've played the provocateur on Fumble, and he had goblins, and I had a killer Nurgle team. And, uh, you know, it was tough. It was actually tough having Ripper and Morg against you and a good coach. But, I mean, he rolled a bunch of dice, and I rolled a bunch of crap dice and lost. I did lose to goblins. I, it's <laughs> happened. Uh, yeah, I mean, Lark Stars, Halflings, murder fucked the lizards in the first round last. Yeah. Last playoffs and the one before that, we had um, half an underworld team and Morg ruined Mike and Machine's Wood Elves completely. Just yeah. three dice like a Wood Elf off the pitch every turn. Yeah, exactly. You know the chainsaw as well, isn't there? And you know, Purple Chest yeah. is a good coach, so he, he could do it. But um, and he's got the he's he got the fanatic as well, hasn't he? So he's, he's got he's got strength seven, two strength six, and two strength five. <laughs> <laughs> So he's got a lot of strength on the team, so you know, you never yeah. know. Um, oh, did I lose? I, I lost when the Fnatic, you could just move him normally because the clan didn't support the scatter. Oh, wow. Well, but, you know, still, doesn't matter. It, it's it's still, you know, you could still get really lucky and, and things could happen. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm still going to back Jahanian to get through with his Nurgle team through that little section. So who do we have? The top four... The Skaven versus Amazons. Who do you back? No, well, I had um, I've got Garyon versus Amazons, so I actually will. I, I, Garyon could get even further then. Oh wow! He's yes, dwarves so, against yeah. Amazons. Yes, yeah, so you've got Garyon, Garyon winning, and I've got the Zons winning. So there you go. So there we go for for the top eight. Then I actually got Garyon winning. Yeah. That's interesting, isn't it? So we've got, uh, yeah, we've, we've gone completely different there. And then um, next four, we've got, oh, Crucifer getting through, I think. I, I think uh, that's going to be Crucifer versus Jahanian, and I think Jahanian takes it. Yeah, yeah, I think that's... I and think then that's I think fair. Jahanian beats whoever wins out of the top eight as well. Yeah, I think that's fair. Nurgle, Nurgle final, or oh, baby! It really could be, yeah. It really could be Hippie versus Nurgle. Yeah. In, sorry, Hippie versus Jahanian in the final as a Nurgle off. It could be. <laughs> it could be. I mean, it's set It's set up quite nicely for that. Yeah. yeah but... The only person who... Probably the, the the only person who could stop it is going to be the winner of Poopark versus Dial. Oh, no. Anyone. Honestly, any, it's Blood Bowl, isn't it? You know. It's... I mean, yeah. But the only just looking at it on paper... I don't know. I realistically, think. realistically, the two K, two K Bretts could beat them. Simon, I had shown already that I mean, Crucifer's team last playoffs was very similar to Poopbox this playoffs. It was amazing. Yeah. And Crucifer took him to the wire. Took him to kicks. Yeah. So yeah, Simon, I took him to kicks. Yeah. So, so yeah, absolutely. Simon, I could is the dark horse <laughs> yeah. with the, with the best team he's ever had. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. He's he's got a bit. Even though two K Bretts are still Bretts, they're almost not Bretts. <laughs> <laughs> um, right. Anyway, so the. Who do you want to win? Is it a what? Someone you want to win? Oh no. Who would you like to see win? No, I don't care as long as, as long as as long as somebody who is. <laughs> I'm not. I can't even say. I can't even say that I don't want people who cheat to win, but I don't want people who cheat to win. And apart from that. I'm not naming names. I just don't want people who cheat to win. But I, I don't think that uh, he or they, depending on uh, which way you were going with that, uh, I don't think that he or they have a chance this season. So we're, we're probably all right with that. Yeah, true. That, that's all I want. All, all I want is, you know, the person who plays the best to win. Who is Simon Knight's never won it, is he? No, yeah, that'd be that'd be a dream result, wouldn't it? The Burt's winning. That'd be glorious. I actually, yeah, that's who I want to win. There we go. Sorry, Jahanian and Hippie, who I think will probably be in the final. <laughs> Um, I I actually want Cyber Knight to win. I think this I think this could be his dark horse year against three, cra four actually if you include Dio's Orcs, four crazy good bash teams. Yeah. Uh, Cyber Knight taking it would be would be amazing. Yeah, it'd be pretty cool, wouldn't it? It would be pretty cool. I think it would be also if Yak Steer won it. With the final being against Janian. Jan, <laughs> yeah, that would be you. good too, right? <laughs> that would be pretty cool. Um, or oh, Elyod. Elyod, after going 9-0 with halflings, to then just run through the playoffs. 
Like, when does he was it, like... There's a lark star and just murders everyone he comes across. Yeah, 100% record halfling team champions. That would be incredible. Anyway, right, that's it. Isn't it? That's all the matches done. I'll link yep. the uh, I'll link the challenge thing so you can check out the draw and everything. Thank you, Artemis, for the core cast. You're welcome. Thanks for watching, uh, everybody. I'm, if so you I'm enjoyed it, go for I'm going to do subscribe. the match. Are you going to do the match or are you going to play CCL? I am, but I'm going to do the uh, the outro first. Okay, sorry, man. <laughs> if you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.